Assalamu alaikum grade 6 students. Today we will continue with the second part of activity 2 and we are going to talk about the urinary system and excretion. Today we will be able to define the urinary system, recognize the organs of urinary system and mention the functions of the urinary system. Where does urine come from and where does it go? Just as a car needs gas to move and it produces waste that it removes it through the exhaust pipe, every cell of the body needs oxygen and the nutrients to function. It also produces waste. The urinary system is known as renal system also and it is an excretory system that eliminates liquid waste from the body. The urinary system consists of two kidneys, two ureters, urinary bladder, and urethra. And notice the presence of adrenal glands at the top of both kidneys. Adrenal glands are responsible for the secretion of adrenaline, which is the fear hormone. What are the toxic substances that are removed through urine? Some of these wastes are toxic like urea and uric acid and they are removed into the blood along with excess water. What is the role of the kidneys? The kidneys are bean shaped organs that filter the blood from excess water and waste such as urea and uric acid which are very toxic and they transform them into urine which is less toxic. We say that the kidneys filter and purify the blood. What is the role of the ureters? The ureters are two canals where urine is carried through to reach the urinary bladder. So what happens in the urinary bladder? When the bladder is full, we feel the need to urinate. The urine is then removed through another canal called the urethra. This removal of urine is also called micturition. Let's label the parts of the urinary system. This is the right kidney and this is the left kidney. These are the two ureters, urinary bladder and the, and the urethra. And note that the right kidney appears on the left side and the left kidney appears on the right side because the person is shown from the front. What is an artificial kidney? Some people suffer from renal or kidney problems when their kidneys no longer purify and filter blood as they should. A machine called artificial machine or dialysis machine is used to perform the same function of the kidneys. And the process is called dialysis where the patient's blood is filtered by the dialysis machine that is generally located outside the body. This process, dialysis, is very tiring because it lasts for 6 to 8 hours and must be practiced several times a week in the hospital. Now we will move to the last part in the, in the lesson, removing liquid waste through seasons. Before explaining the table shown in the book, let's ask ourselves these questions. Do you think you sweat more in summer or in winter? Of course in summer. Do you think you urinate more in summer or in winter? Of course in winter. Do you think you lose more water each day in summer or in winter? Let's see. Removing liquid waste through the seasons. This table shows the amount of urine released and the amount of sweat released per day in summer and in winter and the total release of water per day in both uh, seasons. As we see, the amount of urine, urine released per day in winter is higher than that in summer and the amount of sweat released in summer is higher than that in winter and the total release of water per day in summer and in winter is equal to 2.5 liters per day. So, in which season do we release more urine? In winter we release more urine. 
In which season do we release more sweat? In summer we release more sweat. Compare the total amount of water released in the body in summer and in winter. In both seasons, the amount of water released per day is the same, equal to 2.5 liters per day. What do you conclude? The different body parts coordinate their work in order to maintain a certain balance. So, in winter, our kidneys produce more urine than in summer, while the skin releases less sweat. In summer, when we sweat more, the kidneys produce and release less urine, so that we don't lose too much water. So, the functions of the kidneys, purification and filtering of blood generally of uric acid, which is very toxic, and regulating of blood pressure. And be careful, the body loses water. When we sweat, urinate, or breathe, the body releases water, and some water is also removed in feces, which is the solid wastes. We release about 2.5 liters of water per day. This amount increases with physical activity, fever, diarrhea, vomiting, and so on. If you don't replace this water by taking more in, the body becomes dehydrated and we can fall ill. To remain in good health, our body's water intake must match the water it loses. Our recommended daily water intake is 1.5 to 2 liters and we get the remaining amount from our food and especially from the vegetables and the fruits. Summing up for the whole lesson. Through urine and the sweat, our body removes excess water and waste produced as cells work. The urinary system filters our blood, produces urine, and removes it from the body. It is composed of two kidneys, two ureters, the bladder, and the urethra. The sweaty glands produce sweat, which is released through pores on the skin's surface. From the, outside to the, from the outside to the inside, the skin is composed of the epidermis, dermis, and hypodermis. In addition to helping the body sweat, skin is also the organ of touch. It makes vitamin D, protects the body, and plays a role in regulating its pressure.